The user first visits the website and reads the title. The user reads the opening paragraph on repatriations in the United States and comes to a chloropleth map of the United States. The chloropleth map shows the total amount of repatriations in each U.S. state. If the user wanted to learn about Wisconsin, he could hover over Wisconsin and learn that Wisconsin had 774 associated funerary objects. The user also has the option of seeing the minimum number of individuals. The user again decides to hover over Wisconsin and sees that Wisconsin has 366 minimum number of individuals. The user scrolls down and reads several paragraphs on repatriations. The user learns about important laws and facts regarding repatriation in the United States. The user then comes to a specific map of repatriations in the state of Wisconsin. The user can pan and zoom, but is limited to Wisconsin. The user sees dots and reservations. The dots represent institutions or museums. The user clicks on a dot, in this case the Milwaukee Public Museum, and this shows all the counties from where the Milwaukee Public Museum has taken items or remains from. The user can also click on a reservation. The lines then show which institutions have returned items back to the reservation. The user is also able to learn more if they look at the information panel to the right. The user continues to scroll down and reads two paragraphs about effigy mounds and protections of effigy mounds in the state of Wisconsin. The user then scrolls to an effigy mound map in southwestern Wisconsin. Once again, the user can pan and zoom, but is limited to Wisconsin. The user wishes to explore which mounds are destroyed and which mounds are intact. The user scrolls down to a point, clicks it. The user finds out that this mound group is in Iowa County and there's four mounds at this mound site. The user also finds out that this mound group is still in intact and not destroyed. The user reads a final paragraph on repatriations and goes down to the final information panel. The user is able to explore the references and data that we use to make this map and website and is also, if they are looking for more information on these topics, can visit one of the three websites listed here.